Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for each of you to be here this morning to discover the, the born world. Um, you've been hearing a lot of great, fabulous information. I've seen and I've learned a lot myself, so I'm sure you enjoyed it. I want to talk to you about desire. I want to talk to you about beautiful creation. And I want to talk about the born model, which is a B2B platform. And we've seen with a lot of different evolution how to serve more the direct-to-consumer market. We decided to focus on helping retailers. So first of all, let us discover what is the, the born world. And as Mark Twain said, there are two important days in our life. The day we were born and the day you discover why. And born to create is a very particular element. And I'm sure each of you have felt we wanted to create something new and something that has never been done before. Fundamental to creativity is the emotional connection. We are transforming our lifestyles. Because you want it, because you have a, like the desire is like a good food oil. So this is about passion, this is about curation, and of course, curation intelligence, AI, machine learning. Of course, it's almost like today, if you go to a hotel and they say, well, we have electricity. So I think we all need that AI machine learning component, but to serve what? Today, there are every year 1.5 million new desirable products that are being created by 300,000 design-led brands. For them, there's a challenge. How can they connect at best with the appropriate retailers? If you create a beautiful product, you don't want your product to be in the wrong spot. You need an affinity with that retailer spot and an affinity with the end consumer, of course. Born is a private B2B platform that connects people who make beautiful things with the people who love them. And the first who love them are obviously the professionals. Our platform is by invite only. It's not everyone who can say and judge himself, oh, I've done something beautiful, can I be on board? Well, we have a team that appreciates and curates in different countries and different categories. That's one of our strengths for the last years. But we're very much related to three components. First, in nowadays, integrity. That's absolutely critical. Of course, it involves sustainability. Desirability. Let's remember, what is a good design? And I'm sure you all faced it. You want a product, do you desire it? It's almost visceral. It's a beautiful bag, a beautiful pair of shoes for women. It's a great watch. We've seen someone as an expert in the watch industry just before. But it has to be functional. Is it behavioral? OK, I wanted it. It was in the store. Now I have it. If it's a great watch, does it give me the time, at least? There are 24 categories on Amazon, but it's not obviously design lifestyle. We selected 13. We're currently operating in five that you can see here. That's our offer. The market is huge. Sometimes we don't even realize that it's made by 300,000 
makers. Yes, of course, you know probably the first 1,500 companies that are $200 million plus revenue. There are about 100,000 makers, which are 20 to $100 million revenue. This is our sweet spot, of course. And there are 200,000 or smaller companies, 5 to 20 million. They're great. They might be the next talent. We want to help them too. In terms of revenues, it's massive. It's $1.3 trillion of yearly revenue for the total market, which is about $600 billion in wholesale. This is where we're working on. Today, as we started in 2016 to curate brands, we have already 75,000 of those brands in these different categories in our lead base. That represents 410 billion of their own revenues, and we have already 9,000 users on our platform, representing 15 billion of their revenues and 7.5 billion on the wholesale side. As I said, we started in 2016. We were building both sides, like every marketplace. The retailers on one end, 68,000, but not any retailers, the one that basically fit with our positioning. 75,000 brands and about already 300,000 products. The business model for us is made of three, side of three, three revenues. First, it's a membership. The brands pay a membership to basically take advantage of our platform, web or app, and basically we challenge and disrupt the usual way for brands to show their new product, the power of the new, but also the rest of the collection. And as we know, it's PR, expensive per country, promotion, how many people can you reach, and trade fairs, quite inefficient and expensive as well. Wholesale on transaction, it's a minor fee, but it's part of the revenue model. And value-added services, as soon as you're in a premium world, there are different services that can be proposed. Today, we're on one million annual recurring revenue basis. We're growing, and by 2024, on that current trend, with our current database, we'll be on 150 million revenue. Let me take you through the product and the offer very rapidly. As you've understood, this is you from a retailer side. And the retailers, let me describe what is their life. When they go to a trade fair, they told us, look, we spend miles to work in the trade fair. We see a lot of things we're not necessarily interested by, and we're frustrated not to see what may be interesting for us. So it's about discovering new products, but the right ones. This is where our AI and machine learning is useful, of course. Connecting with brands not losing the business card and not basically networking at best, and obviously for both sides, grow their business at the right price. And we all know, we're all here, you're all here in this NOAA conference to learn something, but also to connect and to develop your network. That's the principle. Now, on the product side, still viewed by the retailer, side. Here we're in Germany, our dear friends of Brunegger, with their 70 buyers, they're very happy to share what we put in their hands, and on a regular basis, every week, they can discover and swipe. Call it a dating engine, if you want, or an Instagram professional. They select by the swipe, they like it, they put it in the favorite. It's a way for them to stay connected with the brand they like, and for the brands, of course, to feed through our engine the different products they launch. Then the idea is to have as many app or as many home page that you have retailers. They all need to make sure that the product that are being sent to them corresponds again to the affinity they have with the end consumer. That obviously also helps us to build with every retailer an history of sales. The benefits, discover, curate, stay organized. That's critical. i tell you an anecdote now. The head of buyer of uh, Galerie Lafayette, 70 buyers, told us, it's a drag. I see something on Instagram. I take a picture. I save it, JPEG it, share it with my team. And then how do I connect with the brand? I use my account. It's like his name is Guillaume. Guillaume on the beach. Guillaume with his children. Now he's suddenly talking to the brand. It doesn't work. So we've organized that in the best fashion and easily evaluate, of course. So we clearly want to be that most desirable place for brands to launch their new product and for retailers to discover and connect. Thank you.